Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Got a quick one for you that's going to take all day. So right now I'm looking at a recipe my wife has sent me for a brisket and it is a, let me get the name of it again, slow cooker beef brisket with barbecue sauce. I've never done it before. I generally cook brisket uh, in the oven or out on a big green egg. We're going to do it in the slow cooker today. Got a normal slow cooker. I'm going to show you what all we got. Got a three pound brisket. It's uh, in a vacuum seal bag. Grocery store had them on sale. We bought several of them, put them in the freezer. We got apple cider vinegar, ketchup, Worcestershire, garlic, onion, paprika, cumin, cayenne, garlic. So we're going to put a rub on it. Set it back in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And then we're going to put it in the crock pot for uh, about eight hours uh, with the barbecue sauce. I've never done this before. I hope it turns out good. If it's good, you'll see this video. If it's not, I'll be making sandwiches. <laughs> so let's, get, let's get started here on the rub. All right, in this little bowl, we need two teaspoons of paprika. It can be regular paprika or smoked paprika. If you got a little bit more, it's going to make it better. One teaspoon of onion powder. Three quarter teaspoon of ground mustard. That's about enough. Garlic powder. One teaspoon. Came out of there nice. Half teaspoon of cumin powder. That's about enough of that. Half teaspoon of salt, just regular table salt be fine. Uh, half teaspoon of black pepper. Let's put it in there like that. I know how much half is. About that much. All right. Need brown sugar. We need one tabling spoon of brown sugar. Let me grab it. Now, I don't know if that's one of them things we have to pack it or not. I'm just... All right, so brown sugar, paprika, onion, garlic, cumin, mustard, salt, and black pepper. We'll mix that up. It smells good. All right, let me get the brisket ready. We'll rub it on there and put it back in the refrigerator. All right, so I've got the brisket here ready for the rub. Put about half of it on top. Rub it in. Flip it over. Well, that smells good. I like to use that rub again on something else. All right, I'm gonna put a piece of plastic wrap on that and put it in the refrigerator. And then we'll make the sauce. All right, barbecue sauce. We need uh, garlic. It says two cloves of garlic minced. Uh, 
the garlic at the grocery store looked like crap. So I'm going to use this garlic paste. Use all of that one. This garlic paste is some of the best stuff because you don't have to mince all that mess up and everything. And we're going to say that's about two cloves. Notice I don't measure all this stuff out. Uh, we need a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Don't know where my measuring cup is. About a half cup. And a lot of these things you can do by taste. I mean, it's... Okay, one and a half cups of ketchup. That's probably about a cup. Probably about a cup and a half. Need a half a cup of brown sugar. And I'm I'm using what we got. We got light brown sugar. It would probably be better with molasses or uh, something like that. Okay, that should be about a half cup. Two teaspoons of black pepper. Teaspoon in. Two. We need uh, onion powder and mustard powder. Need one and a half teaspoons of each. Mustard. One. That's almost two. Uh, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, or as the Cajuns say, W sauce. There we go. So we got garlic, apple cider vinegar, ketchup, brown sugar, black pepper, onion powder, mustard powder, cayenne pepper. Can you need cayenne pepper? Need some cayenne pepper. And that takes a one, one tablespoon, or one teaspoon around, I'm sorry, one teaspoon. But we're going to do about three quarters. All right. Throw this over here. Let me get a whisk out. My little mini whisk. Now one thing I always recommend, like I tasted the rub, it was good. Not too spicy, not, not bland. I like a good smoky rub. So I recommend that's pretty good. I think it needs a little more cayenne. Like that. I believe that'd be good. Let me try it there. I'd eat that on ice cream. Man, that's good stuff. All right, I'm gonna set this in the refrigerator. I'm going to, let's see what the recipe says. Combine it. Okay, so I need to let that sit for 30 minutes. Come back, put the barbecue sauce in the slow cooker, put the brisket in there, make sure it's all combined. Cook it on low for eight hours. So we will come right back when we put it in the slow cooker. All right, been 30 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and turn the uh, crock pot on low. Got a clean crock pot. We'll get all this barbecue sauce, put it in the bottom. Put 
Got a mess to clean up. I know that. Whew. All right. I'm going to take the brisket. I'm take it and put it in there. What it says to do it says to squish it all around. I'm going to take the leftover rub. Let me lay this over here. Put them spices in there. All right, that's good. We are going to put the lid on it. Would you look at that? Hope you can see that. All right, we're going to set a timer for eight minutes, and um, we'll check it as the day goes on. But like I said, link to this recipe in the description, and if it turns out good, you'll see this video. If it doesn't, we won't show it. <laughs> but anyway, y'all hang with us. A few moments later. All right, it has been seven hours and 30 minutes. And I am sitting right now at 192 degrees on the meat. So let me, let me take the cover off and I'll show you what it looks like. Lay some paper towels down here. It has had the house smelling good all day. I mean, it's, take a picture, it's blowing. I'll go ahead and turn this off. This is a uh, Crock-Pot brand, oval Crock-Pot. Let me take a little video of it here and show you so I don't have to bring the camera down on top of it. So it filled up the whole Crock-Pot before and it shrunk quite a bit, but um, boy, it smells good. So what I want to do, I'm going to add this to the video. What I want to do here, I want to take it out at one, it's at 192 right now. I'm going to take it out and put it in full because there'll be some carryover temperature or carryover heat. Get that right in a minute. Be some carryover heat and it'll go ahead and you're supposed to take a brisket off at 195 is what I've been Hold on my life and red and everything. So pull the thermometer out of it. All right. Put the lid back on this. Didn't get a big enough piece of foil. Hot. All right, my buddy Randy says Wusa. For some reason, I don't know why he says that. Let me get a sheet pan, quarter sheet pan. There we go. So now, right before we get ready to eat, I'm going to take the pan juices here and the, the barbecue sauce and all and I'm gonna put it in a saucepan put it on the stove and let it reduce so we'll have kind of a gravy to go on top of it I guess you call it a, a nice sauce to go on top of it uh, may make some mashed potatoes that's what I'm thinking about so we'll come right back in a little while and we'll go ahead and taste it because good cook gotta taste it I mean alright so I've got some mashed potatoes that I made, homemade mashed potatoes. Meat's been sitting about 20 minutes or so. As you remember, I pulled it off at 192 and put it in full, let it rest. Okay, instead, oh my God, that's good. Um, instead of messing up another pan, 
I just left the sauce in the crock pot, turned it to high, and it's been sitting there bubbling away, getting a little thicker. Let me pull you down on here. And I, what I've always done is just cut little thin slices. Good Lord, the fork just fell through it. Mm. Perfectly done. Done perfectly. <laughs> I mean, watch the fork. The fork just goes right in. So let me cut. Let me cut two, three thin, thin slices. I should just put it on a plate. All right, let me cover this back up. This is mainly so I can tell Tiny how it is. So, so check that out. So right now we'll get some, some this barbecue sauce and put on there. Got a little gravy spoon for that. Not really all that thick, but. Put the lid back on it. And there we go. How's that look to you? See, and I like I like recipes where I can do just you know 15 20 minutes in the morning or 30 minutes or whatever you know prep which it was only about 10 minutes move my thermometer out of the way I have to clean that up and put it away and there's not a whole lot of cleanup on this either I mean I've already got all the dishes done and everything it's Let's see how this how this performs. Oh God, it's tender. Oh, oh boy, makes me happy. For all the vegans, I'm I'm sorry. I don't I don't know how you do it. It takes some serious willpower not to have something like this. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. Oh my. I subscribe to the channel myself just for that. Boy. That is just tender and that sauce works. That works. Recipe in the description. Try it. Let me know if you try it and how you like this and, you know, if, if you've tweaked it any. I didn't tweak it any. I went right by the... My measurements were off a little bit here and there, but I went by all the ingredients. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Like, Hit the like on this video. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified. Uh, I know I have a mismatch mishmash of videos where I'm doing technology and outdoors and and uh, cooking and whatnot but this is what I enjoy doing and if I can help somebody out or show them something that they haven't seen before boy that just tickles me to death I love answering all the questions and comments and stuff so anyway I'm gonna leave it right there I'm gonna eat this clean the kitchen up and uh, wait for my little wife to get home but anyway, I hope y'all have had a great day and a great evening. And until the next video, thanks for watching. Gretchen, yum, yum, yum. <laughs>